Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 15 September here. Day before FOMC. Looks like we're going to have a little bit of a dollar sell today. Um, also kind of looks and feels like it's going to be a trap, right? So we all... We all get short dollars going into FOMC, and then he's not as dovish as we all think he's going to be. Tricky. Uh, I would suggest just putting on a tactical cap today. You don't want to start marrying any of this stuff yet. Um, tactical is the way forward here. First chart we're going to look at is uh, dollar czar. Actually, got to do a couple of things here. Okay. Um, we've obviously been waiting since uh, the end of August to see how this uh, range was going to finish. Looks like downside here might be in play my suggestion is to wait for 55 remember how many times we traded up at the figure and it just turned around big red big green big red big green um, and euro dollar will be your key this isn't really risk on risk off this is all about the dollar so um, if we get above 119.17 which was the high on the 10th um, ECB. If you recall, Lagarde was talking, and everyone was like, "Do you care about the euro? Do you care about the euro?" And she's like, "Yes, we care. Yes, we care." Um, but we kind of don't care. Remember, so the high up there that day was seventeen. If we can get up through seventeen dollars, R will go through fifty-five. And we should get some kind of um, little bit of dollar sell today. I'm not sure it's going to be a waterfall uh, by any means, but should get a little bit of dollar sell. Is dollar Swiss going to get down to 90 cents? I don't think so. Dollar Yen is already doing its thing, uh, adding to this story yesterday. It kind of mysteriously uh, had this bar here, bang, 93, down to 63. 54 was yesterday's low. Here's your pennant or megaphone or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, support comes in at 10 through 10. Gets a bit dicey, right? And it also happens to be the same price as these lows here. But let's not get, a, get ahead of ourselves. Um, vol in FX is very low. So... 60 points away in, in dollar yen it's might as well be uh, might as well be starting a marathon race here patience uh, is important sterling still soft a lot of rebels getting ready to vote against old uh, bojo there but uh, he still has a 37, 35, 37 vote cushion. He's still holding firm on this sort of suicide mission. Um, Sterling is still offered. Uh, this will turn. This is cheap. Uh, but it is politically driven, so be careful. Last week's low, um, Sterling Yen, 135. 50 cable uh, we got down to 127.56 100 points away not sure what to do with sterling Aussie's bid just because of stocks are we going to have a sneak attack up there at 74.10 
I don't think so. I don't think we're going to get that far, but we're definitely going to sort of clear um, this 25 area, uh, which I guess you could say we've cleared right now. Um, and should mess around here between 25 and 75 going into uh, going into FOMC. Is Euro Aussie going to break the lows? I don't think so, Euro Aussie. I don't think it's going anywhere. But we are mildly risk on, so Euro Aussie could go a little lower. Aussie Yen. It's resisting. It's resisting higher. Um, I do think this is all some sort of false dawn type situation. And you don't want to be risk on. You don't want to sell dollars. Uh, and this is just... You know, this is just someone slipping us some GHB, uh, and uh, you know, bad things are going to happen next. So just be careful, right? Keep it tactical today. Uh, it's not super clear this is the right way, but it is sort of clear this is the way today, if you know what I mean. Let's check out Kiwi. Same chart as Aussie. Are we going to make uh, 67, 90 highs? I certainly don't think so. I really, in my heart of hearts, Kiwi Yen, Aussie Yen, this is time to sell. Um, these highs will not get broken. Um, but the risk reward's not there yet. So just because it's in my heart of hearts and this is what my intuition is saying, it doesn't mean you can construct um, a beautiful trade. You sell here at 71 cents. Yeah, uh, you gotta wait for 61 cents. None of you are gonna do that. So don't sell. It's not. It's not what we do in this business. We we construct risk reward scenarios. We just it's not it's not enough just to be right. Um, the risk reward has to be right. And let's keep in mind, when we say right, no one's right more than sort of 60% of the time anyway. So um, keep it in your pants, Bobby. That's my advice for today. Gold it's going to crawl forward as well. Look at Tesla back at 419. I got to sell some Tesla. Gee whee. 440. Just for... Just for sanity's sake. Social amounts. When I trade single name stocks, social amounts. This is not what pays the bills in my world. Let's finally take a look at ZB. It's resisting lower in, in like kind of a very annoying way. Annoying because we're short. Um, so, whatever. Doji yesterday in decision traded up to 177 the figure down to 176 13 or 10 um, should go lower with risk on today we were talking about lumber prices yesterday I mean I don't know shit about lumber um, but it's kind of inflationary right you know I know in Philadelphia they used to use bricks to make houses thinking about my uh, grandmother's brick house but the rest of the world they use wood tons of wood to make these houses these are wood framed houses wood 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 how much wood could a wood chuck chuck I don't know inflation is lurking this is gonna hurt the bond market it's part of the story uh, just watching this obviously the key key points on the downside for the deck contract 174 uh, 25. Uh, listen, the calendar's pretty weak. We got Zoo today. I don't think anyone cares about that. We got Empire in the U.S., industrial production in the U.S. Again, no one really cares about these numbers. Um, and I would categorize today as we're just waiting for FOMC. So we should get a little bit of a dollar sell. The edge of these ranges are at risk. Um, but I do not expect any follow-through. 
Good luck out there, people. Catch you tomorrow.